Okay, so uh, real quickly, uh, I've got this little uh, quick animation that I did for a class a long while ago, uh, and I want to do a fast video tutorial for one of my students uh, on how to create an animated preview so that they can make sure that their animation looks okay without waiting the 50 hours for it to render and then realize that they've made a mistake and have to re-render. So this will be a good little lesson for everyone else as well. Uh, I've got a 160 frame animation. Uh, this uh, little idea comes in extremely handy if you've got, uh, let's say, 1800 frames, which I know the, the student who asked me this question uh, currently has. Uh, so we can use this little animated preview thing to create quick little preview files just of screen captures of our uh, viewport uh, that will look and move just like our final version, uh, but it won't take that long time to render. So here we go. Uh, I've got my uh, viewport, my camera one, uh, with the little animation here of my frog guy doing his, uh, I don't know, water bending trick. And I'm going to create an animated preview. Uh, first things first, we're going to go up to the Tools menu, uh, the top of your screen, uh, along with all the other main menus. Uh, in the Tools menu, we are going to hover over the Preview Grab Viewport selection to get the submenu. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and click on that Create Preview Animation. Uh, this little window will open up for us uh, and allow us to uh, adjust uh, things like the size, uh, however big, let's say your render is, is uh, you know, my render is set up right now for 800 to 450, a little tiny kind of just uh, sample window, uh, and I want it to render out that same size or create a preview that same size, so I've left that at 100%. Uh, I've left mine at active time segment since mine is going from 0 to 160. Uh, and I can decide what I want this preview to actually show. Uh, in my case, I've got geometry, which is our character and his eyes and the, and the ground, uh, as well as a particle system uh, for his uh, little animated uh, water bending trick or effect that he's doing. We can adjust the playback. Uh, as everyone knows, film and animation is usually done at 24 frames per second. Uh, and then we can decide uh, the visual style. I want this to be recorded probably most often in the realistic uh, viewport capture style uh, with highlights, background textures, and all of that good stuff in there. The very last setting that we have to adjust is the output, uh, the AVI. You can, uh, depending on what codecs that your computer has installed, uh, almost all of them kind of come with the full frames uncompressed, which is going to give you a very big file that doesn't always play very well. Uh, and another choice is our Microsoft Video One. And for a, uh, you know, for for a, if you want to take your video into say Premiere and uh, edit out a compressed version using your own uh, uh, compressors, H.264, MP4 kind of stuff, go ahead and select full frames to do this. Uh, if all you want to do is see the animation, uh, I found Microsoft Video One set to 100% compression quality works pretty well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Microsoft Video One and move that slider all the way up to 100 for the compression quality so that it doesn't look too crappy uh, and we can still use it. Go ahead and say OK and then click Create. And it'll go through the motions with our sized screen uh, and calculate out the Creating Preview down here until it is finished. Then I'll show you where to find these preview animations because they all save to the exact same location. Almost done here. Uh, once it's finished, it'll probably open the video for you uh, so you can see it right away. But if you want to, let's say, email this to a client uh, so that they can see the, uh, the work you've done without waiting on the render, uh, show it to a teacher for your, for your uh, maybe a grade before you get to the final render, etc., uh, I will show you where these are saved. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the actual video that shows up and shut it down. I'm going to minimize 3D Studio here. Uh, and I'm going to come to my uh, Windows Explorer. Uh, if you're using Windows 7, I just kind of have the little thing there. Uh, otherwise, open up your computer, open up a folder so that you can navigate to where this thing is. Uh, it's going to be mostly in your My Documents folder uh, or your Documents folder, depending on which uh, version of Windows you're using. And there's always a 3D Studio Max folder created for you here in this uh, Documents. Uh, we're going to go into that 3D Studio Max folder and then there's another folder inside there called previews and it'll always name it the same thing it'll always give it to you right here uh, from this point here's your preview animation it's underscore scene uh, I recommend right clicking on that and renaming it uh, we'll call this frog frog bender 
and then you can uh, either copy or cut or move it to a different location on your computer uh, that you know where you want to store it. I can say copy, uh, go to my little external hard drive here and place it with all of my other uh, files that I've got for this silly frog here. Uh, I'm just going to right click and paste it in there. And here is our Frog Bender final preview. Double click to open. Windows Media Player will probably open up, pop open, and uh, play it for you. That's all there is to it. Hope that helps.